Vlogging my life away, that's what I'm doing. I've been going to the gym now properly for about a year and a half. And I've had to put up with some shit in the gyms. People are arseholes of the highest variety. Give a man a tiny little bit of testosterone and he flies off on one like he's a pissing hulk. You're not, mate. You live in the dumbest town in the shittest city. Calm your tits off, alright? Pumping iron, pumping iron, are you? Or are you trying to forget that your wife and kids have left you? Grow up. You're a 40-year-old man wearing spandex. This is not normal. If this is your midlife crisis, I advise you quit your gym membership, buy a sports car and piss off. Do it properly, you've had your time. No. I'm all for people keeping fit and looking good and all that jazz. But when you're older, you're confident. You're more confident of making yourself look enough to tit in public. And though you might be like, I don't care. I do. I care. I don't want to see it. No. You cannot parade around in the tightest shorts ever showing your moose knuckle. A moose knuckle is like taking a beanbag and putting an elastic band around it. So, you know, one knot either side and then like a little horseshoe. Which is your penis. And when you've got this and a moustache... Excuse me? Every gym's got like those people, like the guy... You know that guy, he's always there, but you never see him do anything. What are you... what's your purpose? There's always that guy that's smug as Chuck, has the genetics of a perfect body, and knows this. And he'll just, like, sort of flaunt and peacock his way around the gym. Look at my muscles. Look at my muscles. I'm Eastern European. That is why I have this accent. Always primped and proper, not a hair out of line, not a tooth out of place, not a cheek that hasn't been toned to the edge of its life. Butt cheeks included. You are an asshole, my friend. The other guy that annoys me is the one that's always sat next to me on a Tuesday. You, you are lifting the lightest weights in the world and struggling. You have more muscle than me and you're doing... Am I doing something wrong? Is lifting heavy bad? Uh, are you inverse man? I am inverse man. Everything that should be isn't, and everything that isn't should be. <laughs> inverse man, you are the worst superhero in the world. Stop that burglar. Or maybe I'm burgling him. No! What? Just for goodness sake. The guy that pisses me off the most, and you'll all know him, is that skinhead. I got the shaven head, all the tattoos, the matching tracksuit, the Air Jordans, and every machine that you're on, I want to go on. I'm on the leg press. How many reps you got left, mate? I'm on the rowing machine. Have you gotten to where you're going yet? I'm in the swimming pool. Gonna move, fatty. Yeah, when I finish this piss. And some of the bullshit that comes out of these steroid junkies mouths. It's unfathomable. I'm not doing press ups. I'm pushing the gym down. Think that's how you do a press up? Like that. That's like a hundred reps right there. Reps means reptiles. I'm doing a hundred reptiles. Like boning a snake or wanking off an iguana. Don't know what sort of gym you go to, but mine's at Twycross Zoo. Pow. If you go to the gym, just stop being a prick, alright? Just, just go, work out, shower, go home, come back the next day. That is the cycle. Do not be that dick that wanders around after every repetition that he does. I'm going for a walk. I think I really need a walk for that. Yeah. I'm going for another walk. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna lean on this machine for no reason. Ugh. Why are you wandering around? What are you searching for? There's no treasure here. This is an old workshop. It has been converted to a gym by a local place. Just enjoy the machines. Do not wander. Children wander. Not grown adults. What are you doing? Why are you wandering about? This is the gym. Grow up. Please. I beg.
make of you? You're making my fitness unbearable. Right, go away, I've had enough here. <laughs>